You're listening to Healthcare Matters, the podcast that pulls back the curtain to help you make sense of complex healthcare economics and policy issues. I'm Ben Blanc, Associate Director of Digital Production and Engagement at the Global Healthy Living Foundation. And I'm Dr. Robert Popovian, the Chief Science Policy Officer at GHLF. And Robert and I are bringing you a special live episode from the World Vaccine Congress here in Washington, D.C. Robert, I've actually already seen you uh, moderating and presenting a couple panels today. That's right. And uh, not only uh, the panels were exciting to hear, but it's mostly the research that we've done at GHLF partnering with organizations like IQVIA that we presented on. So it's our own data that we were talking about today. Well, it's been a packed day, so let's get to it. That's right. Ben, you know, you mentioned to me that this is the first time you've been at the World Vaccine Congress. So can you explain for our listeners, what is World Vaccine Congress? Absolutely. And as you can see around us, the World Vaccine Congress is actually a really big event in Washington, D.C., And I think it's actually the largest and the most established Congress in the U.S. That is absolutely true, Ben. So it's a really large gathering that's dedicated to research and development and strategic partnering for the global vaccine industry. So across four days, the Congress covers everything vaccines from research, immune profiling and clinical trials to manufacturing and access. And we're here with professionals from the industry, academia, other nonprofit organizations, and government to discuss vaccine-related challenges and successes. So, Robert, let me ask you this. Why are we, the Global Healthy Living Foundation, here at the Global Vaccine Congress? So, we were invited to speak at this conference. Um, you know, uh, they asked me to come and present our latest inf- uh, data that we've uh, published. You know, in fact, Yesterday morning, we released our latest paper on vaccines. It has to do with uh, estimating the economic and human costs related to a lot of the regulations and barriers that occur in the state level that prohibit the patients to go to their favorite site to get the vaccine, which is their community pharmacy. But besides that, we've done multiple other papers and research in the last two, three years that we're presenting here. And then I'm going to be moderating a panel and I'm going to be on another panel talking about, again, As I mentioned before, it's all the research that we've done in the last two, three years regarding vaccines and vaccine access and healthcare costs and vaccine availability. So we're very excited to be here, Ben. And, you know, it is a privilege and an honor to be asked as a patient organization to be here and present our data. So, Ben, uh, you know, again, I want to go back to my original thoughts that this is the first time you've been here. So what is your immediate impression? What is the first thing comes to mind when you talk about vaccine, World Vaccine Congress? Well, I'm glad you asked. I think, first of all, um, I'm really impressed by the amount of people that are here. Uh, a lot of people that are here either to present their own findings or attending presentations like yours. And uh, it's just amazing to see so many different stakeholders come together Also, I feel like the World Vaccine Congress is an excellent platform for organizations like GHLF to share our work. I mean, Robert, you just mentioned it. There was a report that was released last month uh, by IQVIA and GHLF, um, and you were able to present those findings today. We just released another study just yesterday. You're going to be able to talk about those findings today. So yeah, for GHLF, I feel like this is a really great opportunity. And actually, to talk about this, we have... Seth Ginsberg, live with us, the president and founder of GHLF. Hi, Seth. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We're seeing a really good mix of stakeholders here at the Global Vaccine Congress. So, Seth, my question to you is, as the president of GHLF, how do you see the role of organizations like ours uh, playing their part in the vaccine world? Well, first of all, it's great to be here. And thanks for the opportunity to talk for a few minutes about the importance of vaccine advocacy and the need to have patients involved in the conversation. World Vaccine Congress is super important and a really important gathering of so many different people. And it's amazing for GHLF to be right in the middle of it all because we're folks living with chronic diseases and with chronic conditions, many of which are either immune compromising or require medicines that make you immune compromised. Vaccines play an even more important role in ensuring that we stay healthy and protected because we're more susceptible to uh, things that are out there that are preventable. GHLF sits at a very special place here 
in, in this situation. And our uh, role is to literally be in the middle of the patient and their families and the healthcare providers and the policymakers and the regulators and the insurers and the public, as well as our pharmacists and the places um, that uh, we get our prescriptions as well as our vaccines. And so the importance of improving access to all of these folks, especially the healthcare providers and the pharmacists is, is incredibly important so that everybody has a shared understanding and all of us can be on the same page with respect to improving access to vaccines, ensuring we minimize barriers and we give patients what they deserve the healthiest life possible, the happiest life possible. And vaccines play an incredibly important role in that so that together we can live our best lives and be our healthiest selves and prevent those headaches and, and steer clear of those problems from vaccine preventable illness. Well said. Thanks, Seth. And now to conclude this episode, I'm turning to you, Robert. What is next for GHLF regarding vaccine policy and economic research? So great question. So as I mentioned, we've presented plenty of data here over the last three years. We've done four different studies in vaccines. Uh, it has to do with vaccine access, va vaccine reimbursement, vaccine availability in low-income communities, immunization in low-income communities, which, you know, Ben, low-income communities are overrepresented by minorities. So it's more of an equity issue of getting vaccines in the arms of poor patients or underserved populations. But what's coming for us is a couple of other research that we're going to be completing in 2024. Uh, one has to do with regards to the interaction and access availability of these vaccines and the, and the meddling that's being done by the pharmacy benefit management companies. Um, unfortunately, PBMs are looking at the vaccine marketplace as a profit center now. And they're trying to meddle in like they have done with other biopharmaceuticals. And it's going to create some chaos and un un unintended consequences or intended consequences based on the PBM schemes. And then the second study that we're going to complete is a survey of about a thousand patients that we did and looked at what are the barriers that they face as adult immunocompromised patients with chronic diseases in the field. Why aren't they able to get the vaccines that they need? So we're going to publish that survey and we have very interesting findings. We've done some of the initial analysis and there's some interesting findings that we're going to learn from that survey. Thanks, Robert. That's amazing. Uh, thank you, Seth. And this is it. That's it for our special episode of Healthcare Matters from the World Vaccine Congress in Washington, D.C. Uh, you already know, but don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you might be listening so you'd never miss an episode. And if you have a second help spread the word by rating our podcast, writing a positive review, and sharing with your family and friends. It will help more people like you find us. He's Dr. Robert Popovian. And he's Mr. Ben Blanc. Great to have you, Ben, at the World Vaccine Congress. And great to see you. Thank you. Be inspired, supported, and empowered. This is the Global Healthy Living Foundation Podcast Network.